Here's Audacity Free, and I'm recording with the Windows driver for the Universal Audio Apollo, and this is how I'm coming through. And this is a test using this Universal Audio device, using this software. How am I coming through? Am I distorted or not? Well, we'll both find out on playback. Sparky Studio. Yeah. Hello, this is Eric of Sparky Studio, and welcome to my initial experience. And what is my initial experience using Windows 11? Well, right out of the package, it's been a pain in the rear end using this Revision 2 device that is Thunderbolt. Part of that, of course, is the fact that my motherboard does not have Thunderbolt. My motherboard is for AMD, the ASRock B650 Pro RS, and I have to move the pin from here to here. And now this card can work when everything else is set up correctly. Then you have to enable Thunderbolt on your motherboard. When it actually shows a screen to enter the BIOS, we got to press that delete button so we can enter like right now. And I go to Thunderbolt support and make sure that's enabled. Then I exit and save the BIOS. We're going to install the Thunderbolt drivers for Windows motherboard drivers. This is a CD, but we can download directly from our motherboard manufacturer as well. If you have that option, do so, please. Thunderbolt enabled. You can't just take any off the shelf cable. Thunderbolt cables are at least at this time are quite a bit more expensive than USB. So get the proper cable for goodness sakes. To see that the Thunderbolt is set up properly, I have the software installed. That's my Intel software through my motherboard for the Thunderbolt. And it's showing my device. It's showing connection status is connected, self powered mode. And be mindful that some applications, this is open through MS Config. That's the app I opened. And also I can choose here what applications are running or not. So be mindful of what is running in case it's causing a conflict and causing noise in your audio. One thing I found need to be enabled is this Pace anti-piracy software here. Also remember to keep your sample rate the same through your applications as your devices set up to. So if it's 96 kilohertz, set up your recording software to 96 kilohertz. Now there's been an ongoing problem with Windows and audio. And it's been going for many years. So Universal Audio fix your driver. Just that simple. The Windows driver for Universal Audio just doesn't work. But everything else does work when using our little program where I wrote the audio as we see. In order to get our sound properly, I'll have a link in the description to give Academy slash O D E U S A S I O link pro patcher. So we're going to download this here ISO link pro tool after we install it and we make sure yes, it has permission to change our settings. We're next going to download and install the patcher. Okay, so you download that right here. It's compressed and I can extract. And that's going to be down here. Now, before we patch it, we have to close the software. So close out of it so it patches properly. Then you run this. Let's start it up. And I'm going to choose my driver. And I'm going to go to Universal Audio Thunderbolt. Click OK. And we're going to see some lines up here. Now, these, I believe, are not going to make it work to here. It's showing mix one. Does mix two work? I'm on channel two, but I don't know if it's going to work. No, it's not. So I'm going to go back here, choose mix one, and I'm going to reset this up properly. So I'm going to deselect these because sometimes it's just not working for me. And by the way, this is a real pain. You literally have to make the line bold, and when it's bold, you click on it. I'm almost there. Just not fun. Okay. I'm going to choose one all the way to here. I'm going to choose two all the way to here. I'm going to choose from here to down here and from here to down here. Choose one to uh, host mix in and I choose two because I'm on channel two. That's la, the right microphone. And now we have audio right here to OBS. But you notice it's only playing through one speaker. We can change that through advanced properties if we choose to and click mono to stereo or the other way is to um, check this out. Do I know? Wait, no, sorry. Right here to here. I think that's it. There we go. I have both speakers playing using this. 
but that means if I even have one microphone, it's playing through both speakers. Like and subscribe to Spark E Studio. Help this channel grow and spread this video so we can all learn together. I'll get more on this interface later as I get more experience. Future reviews on this channel, we have the Lewitt Pure Tube microphone, very high end, self purchased, just like the Universal Audio Twin X, Apollo Twin X Revision 2. This is from Acoustify, originally Dyna Pro. It's an audio interface, starter kit with two microphones, mic stand. We'll get more on that in the next video you see next time. This is Eric of Sparky Studio. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. Mixcraft 9 Pro Studio was one of the exceptions. The audio was just fine with the Windows driver included for the Apollo. Let me show you how I set that as we end this video. What I had to do in this particular software is I go to preferences and I had to change to ASIO, Universal Audio Thunderbolt, right there, done. And then I can select this.